Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 24 in Candy Crush Saga Special Event Saltnado. So this is not level 24 in the regular game, this is Saltnado. It's a special event that I have available to me in October of 2020. And in this level, level 24, we have 16 moves to clear out 69 jelly and collect an ingredient. 16 moves is not a lot, and I've got a lot of barriers on the board. Let's look at the ingredient first. It can come from any one of these, and we can drop them anywhere. This is the only place we can't, but it can't get stuck here. But let's say I, I drop it down and it slides out to this shelf or this shelf. That could be a problem, so I'm going to watch for that. I've got to get through a lot of barriers in only 16 moves, so I'm going to need the power of combos. I think I can make myself a color bomb right away. If I get purple in the wrong spot, it's not going to work, but I'm setting this up now. Ooh, it did work. A purple didn't show up there, so I get the chance to do that. All the while, this chocolate spawner is growing, but I figure if it's relatively easy to make specials on this board, I want to see if I can set this up with something. Okay, so now move 12 into 11 is when the ingredient showed up. Something important to note because that ingredient, like I said, it can go this way. It can also get in our way. So the more quickly we can get rid of it, the better off we'll be. Right now I can't uh, make a whole lot of specials here because this is in the way. Let's open this up, get that out of the way, and see if we can get a, a special to follow us here. I feel like I'm taking a lot of turns and maybe I should just remove a color and concentrate things down. Nope, I'm sticking with it. I was so hoping a blue would land there and I'd be able to make a color bomb, color bomb combo. That would have been awesome. Mm, I'm wasting my turns, aren't I? I only have five moves left. <sighs> Finally, I got this. Is it enough to help out with so few moves? Probably not. So here, I think what I've learned on this board is... If I want the magic to happen, the board has to offer it itself. I don't have enough turns to set things up. If they set up for themselves, wonderful. If I burn turns trying to get things to set up, it's not going to be sufficient to get the rest of it done. So, mental note, don't do that again. I'm going to approach the board again, and we'll, we'll try to do better. And we'll try to just let the fact that we only have four colors on this board allow us to... to make uh, punctures down here so we've got more space so the board can give us more of those specials that'll help us get through there. Be right back. Okay, my attempts tell me this is not an easy level, and I was mistaken when I said that there are only four colors. Look, we've got red on the board. It's not part of the candy mix, but we've got these stubborn little buggers here that make life a bit difficult for us, and if I can't get a purchase on what's happening here... If I can't clear this out, I'm going to be stuck. Yeah. All right. Let's bring that ingredient a bit out of the way. Let's see what we can do here. I can make a color bomb. I can't really use it the way I want, so I'm going to set off this stripe draft combo. We take out a color, which concentrates things down. There we go. There's another color bomb. I could do this stripe, and I will because we get the opportunity to bring it through. Can I bring this into alignment? I can. Is it enough to get this done? Well, it cleared out that top portion, which is particularly difficult, and we got the ingredient, but still, I don't think things happened quickly enough on this board. We probably still have double thick stuff here, which is very difficult to deal with because the chocolate covers it over repeatedly. So I got closer. I'm getting there, but what I'm realizing is it does take luck. So I just need to join those two together. When I get a particularly lucky board, that's when I need to slow down and make the very best choices possible so I can capitalize on that luck. I'll pause the recording and come back eventually with a win. Hmm. On the face of it, this doesn't look great, but I'm thinking maybe I can get some cascading that things are going to fall together here. Uh, not as beautifully as I had hoped, but I can still maybe get a color bomb. If not, I get a stripe. Oh, I got both. 
Should I just take out a color here? Um, the potential exists to do good with that. And I don't have any good moves here now. I was going to hold off and see if I got any good moves. Orange would be a good color to remove. Blue, not as much. So let's take out orange and hope that that concentrates the colors into something usable. I could do another stripe here. That one stripe I don't think is going to be beneficial enough. I think I need bigger things. Wrapped wrapped combo is good. Look at the wrapped wrapped combo. It reaches far. So now we got the ingredient cleared. This is in kind of an awkward spot, but I may still be able to get something done with it. Hold on. Uh, crazy things happening, but good crazy things. Not as good as I had hoped, but... Oh, look at that. We might end up still with something. Yeah. Wow, I'm just going to wait and see what happens at the very end with all of this craziness. Look at this. Look what I can do. Take out purple. All right, so that is how I use luck and a little bit of skill to get this one done. And it only took me eight tries. Eh, oh well. If this was helpful, I would ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. Hopefully it takes you fewer turns, but remember if it takes you longer. It took me eight tries, but you know, that's when I got the luck. It could have been the 18th or the 80th try where I got the luck. So just persevere and you'll get through it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.